Scientists say humans are becoming more of an indoor species, and our bodies are changing because of it. As KXAN's Gary Cooper reports, researchers at Texas State University are looking into what effects the constant exposure to indoor light has on us. The wavelengths of light we are used to from the sun are now being replaced with this. Dr. Ronald Walter from Texas State may be shining a light on what so much fluorescent lighting can do to you. When we first saw the fluorescent data, uh, the transcriptomic data from the fluorescent light, we were very surprised and, and, and uh, were compelled to, uh, to follow it up. At first, they were researching melanoma treatments, and their test subjects, these fish, had an unexpected reaction. I stand on the data that these fluorescent lights do inc incite these uh, immune and, and, and uh, uh, inflammatory responses, but that may be totally normal as far as we can tell. Nobody's done this kind of study before. In other words, the fluorescent lighting affected the immune system. We know what's going on at a genetic level right now. We don't know how it manifests itself throughout the entire body because Interferons, of course, are what circulates in your body. They stimulate an immune response, an inflammatory response. And as to why they're using fish? The melanoma that we can induce in these animals in the fish, biochemically, physiologically, and genetically, is very, very similar to human melanoma. So if we find uh, genes that lead to melanoma susceptibility using these fish models, we can translate that directly to the human condition. Story, and if all goes well, if that translates to humans, then uh, presumably one might be able to simply put uh, patients under certain lighting conditions to up or down regulate pathways that make uh, drug therapy more efficacious. Their research could shine a light on future medical treatments. In San Marcos, Gary Cooper, KXAN News. Team at Texas State is working with the UT Health Science Center in San Antonio. They're doing follow-up studies right now on mice. The team hopes to one day be able to test it out on humans. There are already some forms of medical treatment that involve light. The Mayo Clinic uses what they call light therapy to treat depression in some patients. Light therapy is also used to treat sleep disorders, dementia, and even jet lag. Wish I knew that yesterday.